All right, guys, I'm back. And this time, I have actually got some energy. Like, I'm feeling decent. My sleeping disorder hasn't bent me over. I'm not feeling like absolute crap. I feel like I'll be able to put in some more work today or do things with a better work rate. However, tomorrow is my first football match for a local semi-pro team, Boston Town, that um, I've signed to play for. So, because we've got a football match tomorrow, you don't ever want to work too hard the day before because you mainly want to save up on your energy stores, your glycogen, everything, and keep it for the game tomorrow. So today I'm going to mainly focus on a lot of just little ball work, touches, uh, a lot more dribbling, I guess. But we will still do a little bit of explosive work. So yeah, I'll do a little bit of sprinting in at the start. I'll, I'll get all the flipping hard stuff out of the way at the beginning. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and just do a lot of ball work. So as a warm up, I've set out the cones. I'm just literally going to dribble through the cones at different kind of speeds to just get my body warmed up, uh, get my heart rate pumping. All right, gang, mentioned in the last video, stretching, super important. Stretch whatever you need to stretch. I'll mainly stretch my legs, and then we'll get the hard stuff out of the way. We'll get the sprint work in, explosive shit, and then we can have a bit more fun with some of the dribbling and ball work. Oh my God. I just did a set and didn't record it. That pissed me off. All right, I decided that I want to do the last two sets of these sprints while dribbling the football. Now, this is going to be tough because your goal is obviously to run as fast as you possibly can. So you're going to be running at high speed, most likely taking bigger touches of the ball than you normally would when you're dribbling. But the key is I'm going to try and stop at every single cone as fast as I can, turn as fast as I can. But also, I want to change my turn each time that I get to a cone. So not always turning the exact same way. Turn using a different foot or use a different stop while you're turning. So we're gonna try to do this as fast as we can, focus on not losing control of your ball, but maintaining high speed. I've changed, changed the FPS of the videos from 30 to 60. So now there may, or should I say, there should be a difference in um, the motion of what I'm doing. As it's recording, you might see me, you might see that I'm moving smoother. The video quality should be better, I think. We'll soon find out. Hi gang. So I said at the start of this session, I wanted to do a lot more little ball work. We've got the sprints out of the way. I'm happy with that. We've worked on the hardest part really. But this exercise here is designed to do two things really. One is to get me dribbling with the ball in quick succession as fast as I can. I wanted to have as many touches of the football as I could in this session because I have not played any semi-pro matches in almost two years now. So um, I really need to make sure that my feet are very comfortable with the ball there. And the second thing is this drill will help kind of increase your confidence to take on a player. Uh, when I pick up the ball, as soon as I get the ball, I like to run with it explosively. I like to 
quickly dribble past players. As soon as I pick up the ball, my first thought is to dribble straight past the player or straight through two players. If I've dribbled through both of their centre mids very, very fast when I pick up the ball, it's just me and one or two of my strikers who've got a very good advantage of getting in on goal. This drill is designed like this. So I'm going to pick up the ball and dribble. The middle cones are going to act as kind of like defenders on each side. Every time I step up to that cone, I need to take on that defender in a different way, but it has to be done at speed. So it's whether I'm dribbling to the side really quick, I'm doing a skill move, but that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to go around, I'm going around the side of the cones, hacking, let's say, the other defender, the second cone. And I'm just going to keep repeating this. Do it for about a minute or two, or like I said, until failure, until you're really, really tired. But make sure that you're taking little touches of the ball. Because in football, the more you shorten up your touches, the more control you've got of the ball. Then it allows you to quickly take a big touch and dribble past your opposing player. So all right, let's get straight to it and see what we can do. The amount of times my fucking camera has fell because of this wind is a joke. Fuck the recording life. Last exercise, like I said, I didn't want to do too much today. I need to conserve a lot of my energy for tomorrow's game. But this last exercise is actually a really good one because it's probably the most crucial aspect of receiving a pass. So every time you receive the ball in a game, no matter what your position is on the pitch, if your back's the goal, whatever, when you receive the pass, the best thing you can possibly do is to open up your body to where you wanna pass the ball next as fast as possible. The ball's coming in here, you know you wanna move it to the left next. Ball's coming in, you open up that way. So this exercise, all I'm gonna do is sit right in front of you. I haven't got anyone passing me the ball, so I'm gonna have to do it myself. Basically, I'm just gonna practice move, opening up my body. So getting the ball across, opening up, opening up opening up to then dribble or pass this is all you're going to be doing in a match and you're not always going to receive the ball face on you might get it from the side but the principle is the same i'm going to stay on my toes and try and do this as fast as i can and just again keep going until you feel tired you're fatigued take a rest so how much harder everything becomes when you when you're getting tired Ugh. just 
do a few sets of this, whatever you feel comfortable with. During your rest period, you know, if you're trying to improve your fitness and you feel that didn't really challenge you that much, during your resting period, you can maybe stay on your toes and just do touches side to side during your 45 seconds, one minute rest, and then you can go again. Last set, let's get it. I said today was going to be a short one. Honestly, that was good enough for me today. I definitely got my workout in, challenged myself a bit and got touching the ball a lot more before my match tomorrow. Now, please, please don't shoot me, but I'm not going to be able to get any recording of the match tomorrow. I know you'd love to see it, see me in an actual match at that level, but unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman just yet. But soon enough in the future, I'll try and convince someone to come down to the games and record. Until then, you guys are just gonna see the background work. I'll have to keep you updated on what's going on for the games. But yeah, fingers crossed tomorrow goes really well. And uh, yeah, remember, a workout is better than no workout, boys. Get yourselves out there and train. Hope you enjoyed the video, peeps. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.